guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new you should definitely subscribe because i'm a whole vibe okay period so in today's video since i had three orders for my burgundy india unit which is my deep wave wig i decided to record especially since now i'm using the bleach bath method but first i'm gonna insert a clip of me bleaching these knots because i had a couple of people ask me to do a video on it especially on tiktok so here y'all go i use bw2 bleach but this is a developer that I use. I don't know what it is, but I love this developer better than any other developer that I've used before. I don't know what it is, but this is my favorite. Now we're about to mix the bleach in the developer. Now, honestly, y'all, I eyeball it. There's not a specific amount of bleach that I add. It's just whatever I feel like adding. And that comes with time. Eventually, once you do this enough, you're going to know exactly how much to add. So I can't really say add two, three scoops. It just really depends especially since i do multiple wigs at once when i bleach a knot so i always just eyeball it then i go ahead and add my developer i add little by little just because i want to make sure that i don't add too much you do not want a watery consistency you want a toothpaste like consistency i don't know why i'm getting tongue-tied but yeah I really should have put on some gloves but pretty much this is how you want it to look you don't want it to like be dripping off the spoon this is perfect now you want it thick enough so it's not seeping through the lace because you do not want it to actually dye the hair because that's going to be a whole mess to fix so you want to be really light-handed in the beginning i was very heavy-handed okay so i had to learn to not be so heavy-handed so once again it comes with practice but you want to be real light-handed just so this bleach does not seep through the lace because even though it's not watery if you press hard enough it will go through the lace so i didn't speed this up or anything because i want you guys to see exactly how i am applying the bleach but yes i also find it easier for me to use a butter knife to apply some people use a spatula some people use a regular brush that you use to dye hair i'd rather use a butter knife it is so much easier to evenly distribute the product Now, there isn't a specific amount of time that I leave the bleach on the hair. I pretty much eyeball it. I start my timer at 15 minutes, but I don't take the bleach off until those knots turn. So you just want to keep checking periodically. One thing I do want to say is do not beat yourself up if all of your knots don't bleach. That's normal, okay? If you zoom in on a lot of Instagram pictures of wigs or wig installs, you'll see that all of those knots are not bleached. So do not beat yourself up. Now, once those knots are finished bleaching, aka when they're no longer black, you're going to go ahead and wash it out. But first, I was just showing you guys everything that I'm going to be using. So, I'm going to be using this Adore Crimson Hair Dye once I get to the watercolor section. And then I'm going to be using the bleach again in a 40 volume developer. After you finish washing the bleach off of the frontal or the closure, I use purple shampoo just to get rid of any brassiness. It just works wonders, so I use that. Now we about to get started on this bleach bath, okay? I seen a girl do this on YouTube and girl, thank you so much because <laughs> you saved me a lot of product. There's a lot of people doing this on YouTube and they're using way too much product. You don't need a whole bunch of product, okay? 
so I just start mixing my bleach and my developer in the mixing bowl. I do it like that. And when I add the developer in, you want to add enough so that it is a liquid consistency. So you don't want it thick like your bleaching knots, but you want it to be liquidy. Then you want to add your hot water. I was making sure that hot water was running so it could be really hot. Um, hot water is just what you need to use. And then you're going to add your bleach and developer mix into that water. Then you're going to submerge your wigs in that. Make sure the bleach and the water gets all over the wig. And then you're going to let the wig sit. Now, in my opinion, I think you should just eyeball it. I don't think there's a specific amount of time the wig needs to be in there just eyeball it this was also my first time doing this with multiple wigs so now i know that next time i'm actually going to use a little bit less water but you live and you learn it still got the job done don't get me wrong the wig did bleach but yeah anyways you just want to eyeball it um i left my wigs in for exactly 19 minutes and when i took it out i was happy with the color because i did not need it to be too bright since i'm only doing a burgundy color didn't need it to be too bright of course if you want your wig brighter you will leave it in longer um one of the girls that i watched on youtube she left her wig in for about 30 minutes another girl did a bleach bath two different times so it's completely up to you Now I cannot stress this enough, please make sure you wash all of the bleach out of the hair if you want to be able to use this hair, okay? Because if you leave any bleach in the hair, you will not be able to use it. That's how stiff and horrible it's going to feel and look. So for some reason, Dawn dish soap works. Um, it helps get a lot of the bleach out of the hair. I don't know why. I've seen a whole bunch of people do this on YouTube. So I started doing it and I haven't had any problems. So use that Dawn dish soap, really get in there uh, with your shampoo and conditioner afterwards to make sure you get all the bleach out. I wash these wigs with the Dawn dish soap about two times just to make sure.
Now we're going to get to watercolor in these wigs. So of course I use my hot water. I have my bucket. And then I just go ahead and start adding the hair dye. I didn't use actually a lot of hair dye for this. So that's pretty good. I used only I think two bottles. And that was it. But I just go ahead and mix that in. Then I dip my wigs in. Let me tell y'all. Adore hair dye never stains my lace. Ever. Today it tinted my lace slightly. Um, I don't know why that never happens, but today it tinted my lace slightly. It's not this dark. Once I washed it out, the lace was not this dark. So don't be alarmed. I didn't send it to my customers like that, but it tinted it just slightly on, on about two of the wigs. One of the wigs, the lace is completely transparent. It was just really weird. I don't know why, because that never happens. But of course, stuff likes to go wrong when I film. I don't know why. So once I finished with my third wig, I went ahead and washed it out. I used a Tresemme Smooth and Silky Shampoo and Conditioner set. And that was pretty much it. That's pretty much it, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.